Hello, my name is Rob Evans and I'm the manager of organizational assessments and K-12 services for Margolis Healy and the school security liaison officer for Vermont's Agency of Education and Department of Public Safety. This facilitated dialogue is designed to initiate a conversation about how your school would respond to an armed home invasion that recently took place in close proximity to your school and to familiarize you with your school's current emergency operations plans, policies, and procedures. Please remember the following guidelines throughout your discussions. This is a great opportunity to walk through an emergency preparedness scenario together. This is a low-stress, no-fault environment. There are absolutely no right or wrong answers. There is no hidden agenda or trick questions. These discussions do not establish or imply a precedent. Please respond to the questions contained in this dialogue based on current plans, policies, and procedures. I don't know or we don't have that are okay and acceptable answers. Throughout this dialogue and as the scenario is developed, you will be asked to pause this presentation in order for you to be able to review your answers to a series of questions. Please do not advance to the next part of the scenario until you have answered all the questions presented. The date is May 15th. It's a sunny afternoon and the temperature outside is 60 degrees. At 1.15 in the afternoon, your school is informed of an armed home invasion that just took place approximately one and a half miles away from your school. Local law enforcement has responded to the scene and is advising that the male suspect fled from the scene on foot and is armed with a handgun. No other information is available. What would the principal do with this information? With who or whom would he or she share this information? In your current role, what would you do with this information? How would you know what to do? Is it common sense? Establish policy, guidance from a supervisor? Is the district office notified of this event? And if so, who makes this notification? What strategies are developed to deal with this situation? Who specifically is involved in developing these strategies? Do you place your school into lockdown or do you secure your building in any way? Do you currently have any policies that will assist in guiding your response actions? Is your entire school community trained in your possible response actions? Do you share any of this information with the parents of your students? And if so, how is this notification made? How do you plan to coordinate your response actions with local law enforcement? Who will be responsible for this coordination? Please pause the scenario and take the next 10 minutes to discuss these questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. At 1.30 p.m., local law enforcement is advising all local schools to lock down. The suspect involved in the armed home invasion is still on foot and is being tracked by a canine team. The suspect has been seen trying to break into other houses in the area of your school. Local law enforcement is advising that it may be a while before they can get some uniformed officers to your school to assist. What actions do you take at this point? What specific procedures are followed by school officials? What current plans are in place to address the possibility of students being held over past their normal dismissal times. Is the district office involved in any mass notifications for your school? And if so, how? What plans are in place to deal with the high volume of calls your school is getting from concerned parents? Have you decided to implement the incident command system? Is someone specifically identified as the incident commander? How will you continue to be updated about this situation by your local law enforcement agency? How will calls from the media be handled? Who specifically is assigned this task? 
Please pause this scenario and take the next 10 minutes to discuss these questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, local law enforcement is advising your school that the suspect is still on the loose. Canine teams and roving police patrols are still actively looking for the suspect, but they are not sure when they might have him in custody. Law enforcement is requesting that your school remain in lockdown until further notice. Who would specifically authorize holding your students after their normal dismissal time? Would the district office be involved in this decision-making process? How would you communicate this decision to the parents of your students? How would you handle the parents that arrive at your school to pick up their children? Do you have food on site that could sustain your students and staff if this situation was to go on for a few more hours? What, if anything, would you do to try to control the social media conversations taking place by the staff and students at your school? How do you coordinate for after-hours transportation for your students if this situation goes on for a few more hours? Please pause the scenario and take the next 10 minutes to discuss these questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. At 3.45 p.m., local law enforcement calls and advises while the suspect is still not in custody, they will be able to provide a significant law enforcement presence at your school to assist with the release of your students if desired. Who at your school will be involved in the decision-making process to potentially release your students with the help of local law enforcement? Will the district office be involved in making this decision? If the decision is made to release your students, how will you communicate this plan to the parents of your students? How will you coordinate any accountability issues you might be concerned about once the children are released? How will you coordinate for the mental health resources that might be needed by your students or staff the following day? Do you have specific points of contact with your local mental health providers for both your students and your staff? What considerations would be made for faculty, staff, and students that wouldn't feel safe coming to school the following day? Please pause the scenario and take the next 10 minutes to discuss these questions and do not advance to the next slide until your conversations are complete. And some additional considerations to think about. What additional incident command training has been identified for school staff to attend? Does your school have more than one person trained to use your mass notification system? Do you have a plan for command and control during emergency if senior school officials from your school are not present during an emergency? Do you have memorandum of understanding with local first response agencies detailing their roles and responsibilities during an emergency? How often do you meet with your local emergency first responders to discuss your emergency planning efforts? Thank you for participating in this training, and if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me by phone or email.